Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. I want to take this opportunity to wish you God's blessing and to let you know how much we appreciate you for what you're doing in the lives of your children and your family. Today, uh, as the world celebrates Father's Day, we must pause and recognize that this world will not be what it is today had it not been for the role that you play as fathers. Uh, today, as we pause, I want to reflect on the important role that fathers play in our lives, in the lives of children, in the lives of your families, in the life of our communities, in the lives of our church. You know, folks, fathers are the very first men in the lives of their children. You teach your children how to love, how to care. You teach them how to be good role models, self-sacrificing. You teach your children commitment. You instill values in them. Yes, fathers, today, you are the first protector your children ever will meet. You correct them. You instruct them. You are the first hero in their lives. Folks, this world is still filled with many positive examples of good fathers. Fathers who work day and night to sacrifice for their families, to provide for their every need. Today I want to salute all our hard-working, God-fearing fathers. Fathers who love unconditionally. Fathers who will do anything possible for the health and well-being of their children. As a young man, although I did not grow up with my father, God God surrounded me with some good examples of positive role models in my life. I am who I am today because of the men in my life, the fathers in my life, who took me in as their sons and taught me values, taught me principles for life that has made me into the young man, the man I am in today. And so today, folks, as we pause to celebrate fathers, I want to reflect on our Heavenly Father. The Bible said in Psalm 1, 103 verse 13 as a father pitieth his children so our heavenly father pitieth those who fear him i want to thank god that even when our earthly fathers fall short of being good role models we have a heavenly father who takes up for their deficiencies i want to thank god today for being a father a father who we can depend upon a father who is a father to the fatherless a father who protects and provides, a father who loves, a father who we can depend upon. Indeed, our Father in heaven teaches us how we ought to be fathers. And today, as we reflect on Father's Day, why don't we as fathers try to imitate the real father, the true father, the prototypical father? Why don't we become like our heavenly father so that we can imitate and become to our children a model of what he is to us today thank god for being a good father happy father's day to all of you